Morning, Steve Green in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, yesterday we had one interesting day in all the commodity market. It seemed like everything that had been bearish rallied sharply and everything that uh, had been uh, going up declined. Um, not a lot of good reasons why the market did what it did yesterday. I think after the dust settled, you know, some people think that uh, these uh, bearish commodity markets were oversold. Uh, number two, we were talking about uh, the possibility of the China bank uh, lowering interest rates to stimulate their economy. Uh, number three, there was talk about a Greek bailout. Uh, number four, uh, we saw some tension increase in Ukraine. And uh, number five, uh, we actually saw some of the machines come in and, and, and look at the markets and, and, and work for stops that were in the markets. Uh, there was no new grain export trade. There was no new uh, supply concerns in South America uh, that we know of. Um, and so the market just rallied and it took out stops uh, above the market. On the rally, farmers did sell here in the United States corn and beans. And uh, we did see an increased farmer selling in Brazil and Argentina. So we got beans right now down about six cents, corn down about two, and wheat still up about a penny on continued short covering. Uh, the outside markets, dollars are a little bit better, crude's a little bit lower, it looks like our stock market's gonna open a little, a little bit lower. So, you know, we're trying to feel through the dark here and see, you know, will this rally continue on, on continued short covering or will this market uh, kind of settle back a little bit off yesterday's highs? Uh, basic fundamentals haven't changed. Most people are bearish beans because of the big supply in South America and the expectations that we'll have a big crop here in the United States in 215. And people think that corn's in a trading range. Lower side farm doesn't sell, higher side he does sell and the demand is kind of stuck in the middle and um, not real negative but not real positive either. And then the wheat, you just have some concerns that maybe it's a little bit slower trade out of the Black Sea will, will help European wheat demand, but may not help U.S. demand. We did see wheat crop ratings drop in the winter wheat belts here in the United States, but it's hard to kill a crop uh, in the U.S. late January, early February, and so we're just still looking for a good crop uh, in 2015 and better than we had last year, which should offer some resistance to prices, even at these low price levels. So a big day yesterday. I think producers took advantage of the rally. No one can really explain it. And we'll just kind of have to look and see how things unfold over the next week or so. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. And have a safe and profitable trading day.